ladies and gentlemen, from the theater at Madison Square Garden, we are set to go with a special Junior Bantamweight featured attraction. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Boxing USA in association with DeBella Entertainment, sponsored by JD Sports. This bout is sanctioned under the auspices of the New York State Athletic Commission and the WBO. The president, Francisco Paco Bacarcel, the supervisor is Edgardo Lopez Sasso. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside. Ken Ezzo, Frank Lombardi, and Alan Rubenstein. At the sound of the bell, your third woman in the ring will be Sparkle Lee. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of boxing scheduled for the vacant WBO Junior Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, she stands with her head trainer, Dominic Junga. She wears the red, white, and gold. She scaled at 114.8 pounds. Her professional record, 24 victories against five defeats. She has 11 wins coming by way of knockout. She is the interim WBC female bantamweight champion of the world, fighting out of Vienna, Austria. Introducing Eva, the golden baby, Vera Berger. Vera Berger. And her opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. She stands with her head trainer, Jordan Maldonado. She wears the black with white. She scaled at already 114.2 pounds. Her professional record, an excellent one. 35 victories, only one defeat. She has one draw and 26 big wins coming by way of knockout. Born in Carolina, Puerto Rico, and raised in Brooklyn, New York. She is the accomplished and talented woman's boxing sensation. Tonight, looking for seventh heaven, attempting to win a world title in a remarkable Remarkable seventh weight division introducing Amanda the real deal Serrano Serrano Take off Take off a jack He's a little high. All right, right now, Ham, yeah, he's a little high, so this is going to be good right here for you guys. You already receive your instructions. Obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Trust God, ladies. You may have seen the graphic momentarily on your screen. DAZN's official boxing handicapper, Dan Sheridan, posting 30 to 1 odds in favor of Amanda Serrano, basically. For those of you who aren't big gamblers, to win $100 on Amanda, you'd have to bet 3,000, Sergio. She's a huge, huge favorite here, and for good reason. Laura Berger hasn't fought outside. She'll be the first Austrian champion, so, you know, she her hands for tonight. And Serrano likes to go forward, and Laura Berger forced to let her hands go right away. Let it go, let it go, stop, stop. Serrano outweighs her, it looks like, what, at least 20 pounds there. Right away, this is what Serrano does. Forward, constant pressure. Yeah. Damn, is that a Two, knockdown? It is! Three, four, five, and four six, Burger may not seven, get up. Nine, ten. It is over! Just like that, the real deal strikes again. Seven different weight classes, seven-time world champion, Amanda Serrano. Her trainer did tell us, look, this is, we're gonna blow this girl out of the water because that's what champions do. We don't, we're not gonna go four, five, six rounds with them. We're gonna take her out of there. They kept their word. Jordan Maldonado, who's the brother-in-law of Amanda, married to her sister Cindy, said, listen, that's what we do. When we think we have an inferior opponent in there, we blow her out. He took a shot at Katie Taylor and said, listen, she doesn't get girls out of there. Amanda will do so on Friday night. He was right. He was right, and he's still wolfing away right now in the middle of the ring, yelling towards uh, Vor Vorarburger's corner. I don't know why, but yeah, he must be amped and pumped. He kept his word. That's exactly what you want to see out of a young superstar like Amanda Serrano. They said the weight cut would be the toughest part of this fight, and boy, were they right. Didn't even go half a round. Body shot. 
sent Voraberger down. She did not get up. I mean, As Serrano, I'm sorry, improves to 36-1-1 one one with knockout number 27. Let's see how it happens, Sergio. Take us through it. I mean, that's what Serrano's known for. She's an aggressive, come forward, body puncher, and that's exactly what it was. A left hand to the liver of Voraburger there, and those hurt. God, I can tell you, you cannot get up from liver shots. Any other part of the body, you might be able to endure, but that liver shot, that just paralyzes you. So the question now, Sergio, where does Serrano rank in your current pound-for-pound -pound women in the world today? Obviously, some some big names out there. Katie Taylor, one of them. Brekus, one of them. Chris Shields. Shields. Yeah. No, you know what? Uh, she's definitely in the top three. I'll, I'll say that because, look, every time I see Katie Taylor fight, I'm impressed. This is the first time I'm watching Amanda Serrano fight live. I'm very impressed with her aggressiveness. So there's, there's different things that I'm impressed by. Boxing style, aggression, uh, ring generalship, timing speed. I didn't get to see that much out of Serrano, but I'll tell you what, I'm impressed. Well, Sergio, good thing we don't get paid by the round because I don't think we've called a full round of boxing between <laughs> our first two bouts. Good point there, Todd. Let's go back into the ring now. David Diamante crowning the new champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Sparkle Lee calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, 35 seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout. She's the new WBO Junior Bantamweight Champion of the World. And now an historic seven-weight division world champion from Brooklyn, New York, by way of Puerto Rico, Amanda Reed. Serrano has certainly been there, done that. She knows how to accept these titles and put them around her waist. And she's done it for a long time, Sergio. Now the question is, when does she get the ultimate test? When does she get the, the big fight that's out there for her, the one-on-one -on -one matchup against Ireland's Katie Taylor?